feel like a, a little bit strange. It's really weird. There, right? It's really. Have you? Did you go to your high school yeah. reunion? No. Yeah, neither did I. And that's what this feels like. I mean, but, I'm like you guys must see each other from time to time. Obviously, you shot the film. You know, yeah, you guys he, shot the film together. But like, this is the whole family tonight. Yeah, here and there you see each other, like sometimes on the street or in the mall or something. But honestly, everybody's been so busy since the series that it's impossible to see each other. Yeah, it's yeah. weird. How did you guys keep that you were doing this a secret? I don't know. I really don't know how I kept it. I, I had to stay in a pseudonym, under a pseudonym in uh, Albuquerque. I was under the name Jean-Luc Picard in the hotel. Charles was under the name uh, um, Captain Kirk, of course. Uh -huh. And we had to wear robes around, and yeah, we were like hidden from view. That's wild, because yeah. people in Albuquerque would know, yeah. obviously. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. what are we going to see when we, uh, when we watch this movie? Like, can you give me any indication as to what I'm about to watch. No, no, I can't at all. You can just watch the movie. <laughs> it's everything's about it. It's Netflix. Come on. I know. Come on, You're man. Like, like, come on. You know, I know it's, it's tough. Like, what do you ask questions about? Yeah. But, like, I can't tell How you. How about this? <laughs> um, I'm going to close my eyes, and then you just nod your head yes or no. If you want to, okay. is Brian in this? I assume you did something. I honestly don't know. Vince was adding scenes to the movie that we don't know about. Really? Seriously. What do you feel like to this get is back a into twisted? Like there's something wrong with him. Yeah, he yeah. likes to mess with everyone. Yeah, yeah. Obviously. I didn't see this movie coming, and it came, and not even me. It like continues to surprise us. What did it feel like to get back into Badger? Uh, it was easy. I don't know. You ever drank too much, and you're like, ah, oh, why did I do that again? It's that. It's like that. It's just like that. Congratulations, man. I mean, this must feel like strangely surreal, right? It is extremely surreal, yeah. What did it feel like to get back into, into Skinny P? Uh, it was like putting on an old pair of shoes, like your favorite comfortable shoes. I mean, like walking around with Matt, with Aaron Paul, seeing Vince Gilligan again, just yeah. like being in that vibe. It was great. I mean, was there like, a moment where you're like, oh my, are we doing this? Are we really doing this? Yeah. It's Well, it's been like that ever since. I think up until I watch it on the screen, it's been like that. Like, yeah. it's completely uh, uh, just out of body experience for me. How did you guys manage to pull this off? I mean, I feel like if it weren't for Bob Odenkirk, I feel like tonight <laughs> might have been like the first time that I had heard about this. Okay, well, what I did was I like I said, I tried to forget completely everything uh -huh. about it. And so, like, it was like a, a like, did that happen kind yeah. of thing? But uh, me, Matt, and Aaron kind of had, like, a, 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 a guy code thing. Like, whoever whoever lets this slip first, you're the one. You're the jerk, man. You're in trouble. You're in trouble. Yeah. So, like, none of us wanted to be the one who, like, let it slip. So we just all kept it as quiet yeah. as possible. So what can you tell me about, like, what, what we're going to see when we watch this movie? Like, I... You're gonna see a great Breaking Bad movie, man. It's gonna be great. I, I can't. I'm. Mean, I like I said. I forgot almost everything. I, I was on the way here thinking, oh wow, I remember this scene because it's been a while since yeah. we actually shot it. And like I said, I did everything I could to not. I'm a. I'm a huge fan of the show, and yeah. so when I go in there and watch it, I'm gonna be just sitting on the edge of my she seat, just like everyone else. You know, uh, it's, it's awesome. Does the love that people have for this show, these shows, still surprise you? It, absolutely, it surprises me. You know, all joking aside, yeah. I mean, it just it makes me it. Uh, what's the word? Verklempt? It makes me verklempt. <laughs> it, it it makes me it makes me feel wonderful, and it yeah. does it does not cease to surprise me. No. Now I'm uh, I'm rewatching the entire series before I watch oh, the film when yeah. it premieres. Um, I'm sure there's going to be little moments that, from the series that are going to pop up or echoes of that in, in El Camino. Do you, is that recommended that I be rewatching it? You or know, like a vague, vague recollection of what happened at it, the end. Of my I, life. I think, I mean, you know, the, the uh, mercenary businessman in me wants to say, yes, everyone should go watch it now and not on Pirate Bay, but actually spend money to do it. <laughs> but no, all joking aside, I mean, it'll, you can watch this movie. I know a couple people who worked on the movie who had never seen Breaking Bad, and it seemed to work for them. I think it'll work for you better if you've seen the show, and I think it'll work better still if you know the show very well. I think the movie rewards granular micro-detail 
uh, micro knowledge. Yeah. But having said that, you don't have to go and geek out for a week and you know sit in your underpants and eat Cheetos and never leave the house. You don't have Are to. Are you watching, watching what I'm doing at home? Yes, I am. That's weird. It's, it's your yeah. iPhone, man. It's just yeah. broadcasting everything. Don't use that in one of your movies. <laughs> um, what is it like to get together with these guys? Because, I mean, obviously, you know, professionally you've worked with them for a long time, but you must be friends with these guys now. And that's, you know, honestly, that's the big reason I want to do this movie. I wanted to work with Aaron again. Uh, and also the 10th anniversary. I came up with this about a year and a half ago. Yeah. Started to really have the idea of doing it. Uh, and I knew 2018 was fast approaching, and that was the 10th anniversary of the show having yeah. gone on the air. So that... That lit a fire under me, and then just in general, like I said, wanting to work with Aaron again. Yeah. That, that really was the reason as much as anything. I have to ask you this question even though I know you're not going to tell me and I don't really want to know the answer. Close my eyes, nod your head, yes or no. Is Brian showing up in this? I'm assuming you did whatever you were going to do. Congratulations on this, man. Thank you, man. Does this feel a little surreal to be back? I mean, my God, yeah. It's so, uh, so bizarre. You know, I thought I said goodbye to this world six years ago, but um, here we are. But I'm, I'm, I could not be more excited. Yeah. How did it feel to get back into Jesse? It was amazing. You know, it was zipping on a, an old friend. Um, I mean, I love the guy so much. Uh, and to kind of see what, what's next for him was incredibly exciting, incredibly sad and beautiful and yeah. uh, kind of perfect. So I think the fans really obviously love the show, but I think they really love your real life friendship with Brian as well. Yeah, yeah. No, Brian's, you know, one of my best friends. Is he Uncle Brian to the little one? Yeah, for sure. Or, you know, best friend Brian. Uh, you know, yeah. I mean, he's just the best guy in the world. Uh, yeah. I don't, I, I'm going to ask you this question because it's my job. Yeah. What? I'm going to close my eyes. Is he in this? Yeah, shake your head yes or no. Does he show up in this? I'm going to assume you did whatever you were going to do. And then I'm just going to go from there. Because I don't really want to know. I want to watch as a fan. I yeah, want to go yeah, in yeah. with... So definitely don't watch No, I'm definitely not going to... I don't watch any it, of my it own is very. Work. It's very telling. No, good. Uh, uh, what are we yeah. going to see? Like, what can you tell me? Uh, you know what? All I can say is, um, if you're a fan of Breaking Bad, then you're a huge fan of Vince Gilligan, our creator, our showrunner, our storyteller. Uh, then you know you trusted him for those six years, yeah. those six seasons. Then you should trust him with this. I mean, it's just a, a beautiful, crazy story. It's a Breaking Bad movie, not the Breaking Bad movie. Are, we, right. are there more? I don't know, man. I mean, I thought I said goodbye to this guy, so long ago, yeah. and here we are. So, I, I definitely plan on working with Vince in the future, and if it's in the Breaking Bad universe, then great. But you know, we'll see. That's not a no. What's anybody allowed to say? Nobody's saying tell anything. Me anything. To me. Okay. Do you That's know anything? Know. Have you talked to anybody? I couldn't tell you if I did. I know. I don't imagine. Better Call Saul takes place a few years before this, so I don't imagine you're popping up in this. Maybe. I guess maybe anything is possible. Anything is possible what is in this world. You're not in this, are you? I can't tell you. I say, I hate saying that. I, know. I hate being I that guy. Like you know, I can't tell you. I know. Yeah. I have to. Well, ask. you got to do your job. It's I have my to do job, mine. exactly. I, uh, as a fan, I, 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 I have a morbid curiosity. Like I want to know, but I also don't want to know. I want to. Why a, is that morbid? I want a fresh curious. Like, not maybe it's not morbid. That's the maybe You're the just wrong curious. Word. Very curious. I really do like your pants. I like yours. Anyway, do an interview. <laughs> She's not telling me anything either. It's fine. I can't. No one's allowed. No to one's say. allowed to. Nothing. I tell all your stuff. Were hysterical. The talking points were nine ways to say nothing. Oh, I don't even read those. I don't even. <laughs> Can you even tell me if you're in this movie? No. <laughs> I'm not really sure I am. <laughs> At this age and with my checkered past, uh -huh. it's hard. I'm glad I'm here in Pasadena. Yeah. I can tell you that. Is that, is that what, that's the answer you're going to go with? Yeah, probably. Um, I mean, I know you're kind of still, you're still in this world. You're still working on Better Call Saul. But what is the, what did Breaking Bad mean to you? six years ago seven years ago uh, a paycheck mm -hmm. 
when I first started, you mean? Yeah, no, I mean, like, towards the end, once you realized, like, that it had become kind of a cultural phenomenon, and you were... Well, and, you, you gotta realize, I, I'm used to being a smartass, but now when I have to be serious, I mean... It, it was a life changer for me. Yeah. A, a really great one, a career, you know, I, have I always made a living? Uh, sometimes, but most of the time. But Breaking Bad did something else for me. Yeah. It was great. What, what do you think it's going to be like to get together with the whole gang? I mean, this extended family of, of performers and writers. Do you, do you know them? Only in passing. Because I don't care much for them myself. <laughs> So you're going to be the first one out of the after party. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs>